All right, so before we start off this video, I just want to say that at the very beginning of this video, like the first one or two minutes, the FPS is going to be pretty trash, so I'm sorry about that, but it gets fixed really soon. I didn't realize, but like my uh, recording software was like running at like half memory or something. I don't even know, but it was recording at like 30 FPS and it was not good, but I couldn't really redo it, so we're just going to get started anyway. Hey guys, welcome to Minecraft Skyblock, but with the world's largest mod pack, there are hundreds of mods in this mod pack, as you can see from the mod list right here. There are so many things you can do in this mod pack, and it's basically all like EMC based. If you don't know what that means, you'll figure it out. It's pretty confusing, but there's just so much things to do. There's different dimensions we can visit, tons of different tools we can get, and bosses to fight. It also has its very own custom store where you can buy stuff with coins that you get from quests because there's a whole quest book with like tons of quests and there's many many thousands of hours of playtime till we can finish all the quests. It's also always day in this mod pack, so that's pretty nice. There's some pretty crazy items in this mod pack, like let's just look at this. They have like magenta matter, they've got clay matter, white matter, red matter, like what is all this? They've got no you matter, like there's just so many random things in this mod pack. It's gonna be pretty crazy to experiment with all of it. All right, well, let's just see what we got here. So we have a chicken called Wendy, and I don't know what that is. I think that's part of a mod, but that looks like a rooster and he's called Greg. We got our infinite water source. We got lava and we have a tree and we have some sand. So I have vein miner installed in this mod pack. So pretty much when I like hold down a button and break one block, the whole thing should break and I can do the same thing with the leaves so this will all be super fast and also I have a mod where if you crouch it grows the trees really fast so it should help us progress a lot faster so I'll just be breaking all these down all right so I found some oh there's an egg I found some chicken poop on the ground so I guess these guys poop now and that's part of a mod I guess I don't really know exactly what it does because there's just way too many things in this mod pack but we have this okay so I'm gonna open up the quest book and we have a quest done and it'll give us a random award of 350 to 450 coins so we got 446 it's actually pretty good and now we can go to the shop and we can buy some stuff out here I don't really know what much this stuff does so I'm just gonna leave it alone for now since yeah I, what, what is all this stuff lifestone draconic flux capacity capacit capacitor yeah I can't talk that that looks really complicated all right, well, one of the first things we're gonna need to do is, let's see here, uh, storage. We're gonna need to do this basic drawer because it gives us a stone transmutation table, and that is basically, like, we're gonna be needing this for the rest of the game, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we should probably be doing this. So, I think I can click R, yeah, and then it'll show us how to make this. So, I need six oak wood planks and a chest. All right, it should be simple enough. Got some of that. I'm gonna make a crafting table, place that down, and then I need to make a chest. And then I think it was made like this. Yeah, there we go. Basic drawer. Quest complete. Storage. All right, we can open this up and we should be able to hit claim. Now we got our coins and our transmutation table. So I'm going to put this transmutation down here. And this transmutation table is kind of confusing, but pretty much every item has an EMC value. Like you can see right there, it says EMC equals 32 for oak wood. So that means one piece of oak wood has an EMC value of 32 and I can store it inside this transmutation table. And right up here, it says 512 and that is how much EMC I have stored in here. So pretty much I can just dump all this stuff that is dumpable inside here and I can just pull out as much as I want. Like I can pull out 156 no 1568 1, emc worth of oak i can have that right there so yeah now i have 49 oak wood and let's say i want apples instead i can put these back and i can get 12 apples because an apple is worth 128 emc so it's kind of confusing i don't really know if that made sense it probably didn't but yeah that's pretty much um what this is so i'm gonna need more saplings so i can just pull out 49 saplings and i'll just lay these all out to get some more wood and this should be a pretty good way to farm up some emc so we can like you know get more stuff got to get these chickens out of the way kind of annoying all right i'm just able to crouch and all the trees should just grow in that's a lot of wood right here this should give us a ton when we break it all yeah there we go two stacks of wood in just a matter of seconds and then i can just dump all this stuff back in to the emc table so this might be kind of confusing right now but i promise as we go on this will you'll understand this a lot more all right, well, we should probably do what's next up on the quest list. Let's see what we have. A beast coin miner, marble crafting table, and atomic reconstructor. I don't know. That looks confusing. Marble crafting table sounds kind of cool. How do we make this? Um, okay, we need marble. We should actually go check out the shop. It's probably in the shop somewhere because we got getting started, which is a bunch of random stuff. Oh, marble. Oh, marble, limestone, granite. Okay. So I guess I'll buy one marble, because we can always EMC that to get unlimited. We've got the ore shop, we've got organic shop, I'm guessing this is like dyes, yep, there's like trees and 
I think these are like for dyes. Bob bobbles. We got armor. Whoa, what is all this? We've got so much random stuff in here. Magic shop. We've got an egg shop. We got creative. So it's like creative items. These are a lot of coins. Five hundred thousand. We'll be able to get like creative items. That's insane. And then trophies. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what any of this is. We probably get this in the end game. All right, so I'm just gonna start with EMCing my marble and then taking out four pieces of marble. That was three. Four pieces of marble, and then I can make a marble crafting table. So I should just be able to break this and EMC this because I don't think we're gonna really need a normal crafting table anymore. I also make sure I'm gonna uh, EMC up the marble crafting table. Let's see. So I don't really know what this does. Is this any different? Just like craft something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I, do I have planks EMC? I don't know if I do. I'm just gonna have that anyway. Uh, this looks the same. What is the difference between a marble crafting table and a normal crafting table? Oh, it's your your items stay in. I'm pretty sure. Like let's say I like do that or whatever. I exit out. I come back in. Yeah, my items stay inside that. So that's pretty handy. Okay, next up, we're gonna try getting this beast coin miner. So I, I think this one's pretty easy because I actually saw it in the shop in getting started. It's right down here. Let's buy one of those. Can I EMC this? Oh, it's not EMCable. Okay, well, then I'll place this. I don't know. I'll place it like down here. I have no idea where to place this. All right, I put the beast coin miner right here and current balance. Okay, so this, oh, this is like a Bitcoin miner. It like mines us the coins and I guess they're called beast coins. All right, cool. So... Current balance, we have 674, total mine is zero. Current coin cost, 4,095 FE. I don't know what that means, but I think we're gonna need power for this, like zero RF. I think that means there's no power in it. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get power. Don't really know how we're gonna do that. Um, I think that might be something called a coal generator, actually, that's not how you spell coal. Yeah, we have a coal generator right here from Actually Additions. That's a, I think I've heard of that mod before. Oh, no. I was scared for that chicken to fall off. I don't want that chicken to fall off because I'm pretty sure we're going to need him. We need cobblestone iron casing. I don't know what that is. Coal. I'm guessing we can buy coal from the shop. We probably can. But iron casing. Okay, we need black quartz and iron. Okay. Let's start off with actually getting some stone because that's going to be really important. So we're actually going to need a way to transport uh, water into... Where's the lava? Is it over here? Where did the- oh, there it is. Okay, we're gonna need a way to transport water into the lava. So we're gonna be making a bowl because in this mod pack, you can use bowls to pick up water. And I got- oh, shoot. Bruh. Okay, so I kind of forgot that with bowls, you only have like a second or so to pour the water out or else it like spills. And um, I kind of messed up, so now we have no lava. So I gotta redo this whole thing to get my lava back. That's so annoying. Okay, so now we're kind of back where we were before. Let me just grab a bowl, we're gonna need three wood planks, and this time I gotta actually do this fast. And also I should probably make the the generator kind of part. I don't remember how to make this, um... I think it goes like that... Oh wait, no, there's- it's like this. It's like that, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm gonna go and EMC this dirt, and we're gonna do this again, hopefully I don't mess up this time. Oh! Almost messed up again. Can I- it's so hard to pick it up and place it, it's just weird, it's whack. There we go. That took so long, the water just kept on falling out like instantly, so I couldn't really dump it in place. Alright, now we're gonna need to make a pickaxe, so we're gonna need some planks. Let's make sticks. Make sure we EMC this, so we can keep it in there for later. Alright, so now with our wooden pickaxe- oh, also by the way, I fixed this, um, the hole was supposed to be here, not under there. Alright, so now with our wooden pickaxe, we can just mine this up. And we should have one cobblestone that we can put inside of our EMC thingy. So now we have unlimited cobblestone pretty much. Alright, um, next up, I think we need some food actually. So let's grab some eggs and let's just throw them out. Okay, we got a chicken. Oh yeah, also, um, our other chickens just fell off. They just walked off, so that was kind of annoying. But I don't think it really matters that much because we have unlimited eggs. So we can just spawn more. So hopefully this guy doesn't fall off and I'll kill him later for some meat. So another important thing we're going to be needing is a furnace because we don't have a furnace yet. So I'm going to grab some cobble and craft up a furnace. All right, there we go. And we also don't really have any form of coal yet. So I think we're just going to have to use charcoal for now. There we go. Now we have our fuel burning in there. We only really needed one piece of charcoal. So I just took that out. I'm going to EMC it. I'm going to grab my pickaxe so I can mine up this furnace real quick because I forgot to EMC this thing. All right, let's, let's check out the shop. Oh, wait, here. First, I should probably claim this thing. All right, there we go. 786 coins. 
All right, so in the ore shop, we got all of our ores that we need. So I'm gonna get like one of each, I guess. So I'll get tin, silver, nickel, lead, iron, gold, coal, copper, aluminum. Uh, I think that's really all we need for now. I can't really afford like quartz and like lapis and all that. So that's pretty nice. I'll just EMC all this and I'm gonna smelt it all and I'll be back. All right, so now I should have, yeah, I have all these ingots smelted up and ready to go. Let's see, what's next up on our quest book? We could try making an atomic reconstructor. I don't really know what that does, but I mean, it gives us some coins. So I guess we could go for it. Oh wait, actually, we should probably make this coal generator. Because I realized we could use this coal generator to uh, power the beast coin miner, I'm pretty sure. So let's see how we make this thing. So we're gonna need iron casings, cobble. Oh wait, I already saw this. Yeah, so... Oh, we need black quartz though. How do I make that? We might be able to buy this in the shop, actually. Hold up, let's see if we can buy uh, black quartz in the shop. Okay, we actually can, it's 500. And I have 560, so that's like perfect, pretty much. So I'm just gonna, wait here, let me EMC this real quick. If we ever need the ore itself for anything, just EMCing everything, just in case. And then I can smell this up and get us some black quartz so we can make our coal generator. All right, so I bookmarked our coal generator right up here so we can just see how to make it. Um, let's see here, so we need cobble, which we have, coal, which we have, iron casing we're gonna need to make. So we need iron sticks and black quartz. That should be pretty simple. So I need one black quartz, we need four iron, and we need some sticks. Let's see if I can find that. Actually, I don't even know if I EMC'd sticks, so we're just gonna, we're gonna EMC it again. So EMC that in there. Oh, I think we already had it in there. Uh, grab some sticks. What else did we need? Cobble. We needed cobble, and we needed coal. All right, so let's make this iron casing. There we go. We can EMC this as well. And now we should just be able to make this coal generator. There we go. Quest completed. Let's collect that. Let's see what we get. Um, 405 coins. Pretty nice. So I should just be able to put this coal generator right next to the beast coal miner, power it with some coal, and yeah, there we go. So we have some power running in there, I'm pretty sure. Is it working? Oh, it's working, I think. Wait. Oh, it's so slow, though. We're going to need more of these or like a better power source. I've got one. So I think this percentage means like how much, like how long it takes to get to the next coin. So it's literally one coin. We're making barely any beast coin right now, but it's okay. That's, it doesn't really matter for now, I guess. All right, so food's kind of getting to an issue right now because you don't really have anything to eat. Let's see, so I've had this going for a little bit and we've mined 54, it's all right. So let's see, next up, I think we're gonna want to do ore doubling because ore doubling is a really good way to get EMC because we have 4,000 right now and it's not that much. We can only get like a couple of these ingots. So to make this thing, we're going to need copper gears, redstone reception coils, pistons, and machine frames. So I'm just going to bookmark all of those for now. And I think we got some gravel right down here. So I'm grab this gravel, and then I'll EMC both of these. And then I'll just take the gravel and replace it there. Alright, so how much flint do we need for this? Um, we only need two flint. Alright, next up, I'm going to make the machine frame. So we need any sort of glass, which means we need sand, and then we need tin gear and iron ingots. So let's get some iron ingots. We here, first I'll get some tin ingots, so I need to make a tin gear, and I'll get four iron ingots. So let's see here. That should, oh, I guess, does it make a tin gear? How do I make tin gears? Let's see. Oh, okay, so I need uh, four tin and then one iron inside of it. So we're just gonna grab one more iron and put that in there. There we go, so we have one tin gear, I can EMC that. See, like, now we're already running low on EMC, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this up. Alright, now we need some sand. I think we have some sand right here. Looks pretty nice. We can EMC. Oh, messed up. We can EMC this, take two out, make one into glass, and then I'll just replace the other sand, put it back right there. Alright, here, I'm gonna grab some more saplings, because we really need some more trees. Because trees right now is the only way that we can gain EMC. So I'm just gonna make a huge amount of trees right here and then just mine it all. That's a lot of saplings. Let's see all these trees grow in. All right, we should be good. Now I'm just gonna break all these leaves and all this wood. And we should just be able to EMC all this wood. Oh, that's kind of an issue. There's so much wood still up there. There we go, we still got it down. All right, there's still some wood up there. I'll get that later. So now if we EMC all this, there we go. We're back up to 8,000. That's pretty nice, we made some profit. All right, we're gonna want some glass next. I got one glass in there, I'll EMC it, and then I think we need four pieces of this glass. There we go, now we got our machine frame. So I'll just EMC that, take it out again, because we need that for the full pulverizer. Next up, we're gonna make some pistons, which needs planks, um, cobble, iron, redstone. We don't have redstone yet, so I think we're gonna have to go buy that in the shop. Oh wait, there's an unclaimed reward. Oh, over here, tech expertise. Uh, machine frame, I'll just claim that. Yeah, there's so many different paths of rewards up here. Like we got 
chickens. There's like a whole like chapter just about chickens. We got like generation of EMC and all that and upgrades because we can upgrade many like tools and all that stuff. We got technology, we got armor, fluids, and everything just leads up to the finale where to win the game you gotta complete that. Alright, let's check out the shop. Let's see how much redstone costs. Hopefully it's not too expensive. I should have enough. I have a thousand. Yeah, okay, redstone is a thousand. There we go. It's kind of expensive, but it'll work. So I can EMC the redstone. All right, I'll put it in the furnace, and then it should be smelting it into normal redstone. Oh, wait, I'm so dumb. I just realized apple is food. I completely forgot we had apple as food. I'm gonna go get some apples, because, like, I'm actually starving. I can't run. Alright, now we got 64 apples. Should be chilling on food now. Alright, we have a redstone piece. Time to... EMC that, and let's see, what do we need? So, I don't know why I have glasses in there. Um, we don't need machine frame anymore. Piston. Okay, so redstone, iron, and planks. So, we need some iron, planks, and cobble. Alright, we are running low on EMC again. So, I'm just gonna quickly EMC the piston. Yeah, we're kind of broke again. Probably because I bought all those apples. This one stack of apples is almost 8,000 EMC. It's kind of crazy. Alright, copper gear. We just need four copper ingots. Should be simple enough. Okay, there we go. I'll EMC that, and I can take it out. Here, I gotta get more saplings. I'm dumping the apples back in just for now, so I can just get a ton of saplings. I gotta grind some more EMC. Okay, so after about a stack of saplings, we got all this wood, which should give us a lot of EMC. There we go, 18,000. That looks pretty good. Next up, we're gonna need a redstone reception coil, which is just one gold and two redstone. All right, let's craft up this redstone reception coil. There we go. I can unbookmark that. And now we should be good enough to go to make this whole pulverizer. So we need two copper gears. I only have one. And also two flint. Got the two flint. Now we should be able to craft this pulverizer. There we go. We got our quest completed or doubling. Let's go claim that real quick. 358 coins. That's looking pretty good. All right, I'm going to put this thing right next to the other coal generator. So that should be powering up. Yep, it's powering up very slowly. We're going to need a better way of like power because this coal generator is honestly pretty trash. So pretty much what this pulverizer does is that when you put it in ores, it will double it. So let's say I put in... One iron ore will give me two pulverized iron, which I can turn into iron ingots, I'm pretty sure. So this is good because we can pretty much duplicate stuff, which gives us extra EMC. It's going to be way faster than getting trees. So emeralds are the way to go in this. So I'm going to need emerald ore, which is, I think, a thousand coins. How much do I have right now? I have 544. Okay, so we're going to need a thousand coins and then we can buy emeralds. And then once we put an emerald ore into here, it should come out with two emeralds. And we can just EMC that and get double the profit. So I'm going to need to do some quests to get up to 1,000 coins. All right, let's just do some random quests. Okay, furnace. So we need... Wait, didn't I already do... Oh, it's like special furnaces, though. I need, like, furnaces from these, like, different types of mods. All right, so I should make this redstone furnace. It's, like, a, it's pretty simple. It's pretty much the same thing as the pulverizer, except instead of flint, we need bricks. So for bricks, we're gonna need clay. How do I get clay? I don't think I have uh, clay on this island. It might be in the shop. Let's check it out. Oh, wait, it's right here. Okay, clay is only 50. All right, well, anyway, we can EMC that, grab two of those, grab one of these, grab one of these, and then two copper gears. I forgot what else we needed. Um, glass? Actually, I don't think it was glass. Let's see. Oh, we needed a redstone reception coil. Oh, I didn't, I didn't EMC that. And now we have enough to make this redstone furnace, which should complete us a quest. Let's see how much coins we get from this. For 13. All right, we're really close to 1,000. We only need 70 more, so one more quest should do it. All right, uh, I'm gonna... EMC that? I don't think I really need that. Let's go back to the quest. Alright, so I just quickly made this atomic reconstructor thingy off camera because it was kind of boring and we don't really need to see that because we're never going to use it probably. But now we have our coins. So 415 coins and we should be able to buy the emeralds. I think that's what I was- yeah, I was buying the emeralds. There we go. Now we have one emerald ore, 16,000 EMC. I'll make sure I EMC that. And then I can put this inside of the pulverizer and it should give me two emeralds when it comes out. So it'll double our profit. Yeah, there we go, two emeralds. So now we can put these emeralds back in and now we have double of what we started with. So I'll just keep on doing this and we should just be able to get EMC really fast. Okay, so just after a little bit of this emerald duplication stuff, we already have 600,000 EMC. So yeah, this is producing us EMC super fast. All right, um, I'm just gonna grab some cobblestone because next up I wanna make a mob farm because on the quests we can go to loot crate and we can get loot crates from mobs and you can see uh, if you can actually click into them. I don't know how to click into them. Okay, I don't know, but loot crates give you a lot of good stuff. So we're going to want to unlock those as fast as possible. Alright, so something in this game that makes it super easy to build, like, large, like, platforms and stuff is a wand. So I'm just going to make that, EMC it really quick. So pretty much what it can do is I'll just have, like, a 2x2 two two pathway. 
I can take these and I'll place both of them at the same time. And you can also do it like the other way, so we can just place multiple blocks at the exact same time, which makes it just a lot easier to build large platforms. Alright, so I don't exactly know how tall this mob farm is going to be. It's just going to be super simple. Like, it's just going to be like a small dark room where we can hit the mobs so we, like, we can actually, like, kill them, you know. Like, it doesn't have to be anything really fancy. So I'm, I think I'm just going to make it this tall, and then I'll just close it off with a roof, and we should be good to go. And since it's always, uh, since it's always day out, it doesn't really matter about, like, them spawning on the outside because they just won't. It's going to be always day. Alright, and then I can put slabs on the top using this wand. I can just do it really fast. And hopefully I did it right. I'm not exactly sure. Alright, it looks pretty dark. We can press F7. And yeah, there are red X's there, which means mobs should be able to spawn. And we can also hit them from under here. Alright, so I just cleared out some more of these zombies. Oh, we got a brain? Zombie brain. Oh, we can EMC that. That's sick. And we got two loot crates, so we can open these up and see what they give us. Alright, so I'm gonna EMC that, EMC that. And now we got two loot crates. Let's open these up. So we got sapphire ore. I don't think we have that yet, so it's actually good. And tiny coal. Alright, I'm just gonna EMC both of these. I'm pretty sure tiny coal is like the same thing as like coal nuggets. I don't really think we need them. So now we can claim this and we'll get a random reward and also coins. So we got 1,000 coins and also Supremium Furnace. What is this? Efficiency plus 100%. Wait, hold on. If I grab like coal and then like this sapphire ore or whatever, does this smell like super fast? Oh, it doesn't even smell. Okay, I don't really know how to use this. We'll have to figure that out. And we can't EMC it, so we're just gonna have to put it away. I'm just gonna store it in this double chest right here that I used for storing things that are non-EMCable. Alright, so this video is getting kind of long, and we did so much in this episode. So, um, there's actually so many more things that we haven't even unlocked yet. We've just gotten started with the introduction chapter. There's still, like, resource generation upgrades, like magic, storage, power... Like, all this stuff that we haven't even gone into yet. So if you guys want to see more of this mod pack, just let me know in the comments. And let's see if we can hit 100 likes. If we can hit 100 likes, I'll be sure to do a part 2. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.